I tell you, we're continuing on with our day one classes. This time we're going over to the SMGs. There weren't that many SMGs being used, but there are a few with some notable players. It's just because there was just a, such a big AR meta going into last night with the Holger and the MCW just being far and away a lot better than the subs. But you did see a decent amount of strikers and rival nines being pulled out every now and then. So I'll take you through a deeper look at those subs and what attachments those players were using in those kickoff tournaments. So let's get right into it. All right, we'll first start off with the striker. This is that UMP gun that was there back in the beta. So we're gonna start off with the Lockman MK2 light stock for the movement speed. We go over to the grip, which is the Seiken ZX grip for that gun kick control. And we have uh, no ammunition, obviously, for the SMGs. X10 Phantom hand stop, once again, uh, sprint to fire and aim down sight speed. You saw that with some of the ARs. We go over to the muzzle, once again, another flash hider. Uh, we saw this with the MCW in the last video, but uh, a lot of SMG players are using this for their striker and then lastly for the barrel we're using the striker long barrel for the aim idle sway and some of that recoil control so that is kismet setup all right we'll move on to the phase guys the simp bz class over here once again rocking the lockman stock you're going to see this pretty much everywhere on the striker uh, they have the f tech rear grip they move on to the chuk angle grip for the under barrel for the aim idle sway aim walking speed and they actually switch the barrel to the recon long barrel rather than the striker elite so rather than the aim idle sway and that recoil control they get the bullet velocity for that and then lastly they have the pure fire muzzle brake for the horizontal recoil control for this weapon we'll move on to afro from lat he's actually using the no stock for the in down sight speed sprint to fire speed uh, but he actually has that con of the recoil control so he's using that no stock for a little bit more of that aim down sight speed then he goes with the seiken zx grip then he goes with the x10 phantom hand stop honestly still seeing this with that sprint to fire speed and down sight speed he goes with the flash hider similar to kismet and then goes with the elite long barrel also similar to kismet so that is afro's class and lastly, we have Kleenex, Hook, and Abuza all running in the same class. They start off with the Striker Elite Long Barrel, similar to what we saw with Afro and Kismet. Then they move on to the Lockshot KT-85. This is a muzzle that massively improves horizontal recoil control and a little bit of vertical recoil control, but it actually has the con of in down sight speed. And usually you don't see SMGs having those cons of ADS speed, but you see it there. And Handstop actually kind of counters that a little bit by giving some ADS speed for them and some movement speed. Uh, and they actually counter that with uh, the assault stock and that's going to lower their movement speed uh, but they make that back up with the hand stop and this is going to give them that gun kick control that they need on this weapon and then lastly they have the Seiken ZX grip again a little bit more gun kick control all right so now we'll move on to the rival nine this is kind of like the scorpion from black ops 2 really high fire rate so this is Shotzi's class I only saw Shotzi and Paco using this so first we'll start off with Shotzi he goes with the pure fire muzzle horizontal recoil you saw the phase guys also using this on their striker he goes with the Bruin pivot vertical grip because of how much kick this has you have to use one of these vertical grips so you can either use this one or the Camaro one he chooses this uh, Bruin pivot one and then he actually goes with the high velocity ammunition I think this is going to be a trade-off with the magazine you can either use the 40 round mag or you can use this high velocity depending on what you want to do you can either use that higher velocity for the better reg or the magazine because you're going to be using so many bullets in such a little amount of time so you're really going to clear through that mag pretty quickly with this weapon and then he goes with the rival vice assault grip you pretty much have to use this on this weapon because of the gun kick control and then lastly uh, the mtz marauder stock again just more gun kick control for this so this is shotzi's class for the rival nine so lastly we have hydra's class and he actually goes about the rival nine just a little bit differently which is pretty cool so there are some different builds that you can make with this so he starts off with the rival fire starter barrel and this is going to give him a lot of aim down sight speed and a little bit more movement speed so he's not really going so much for that gun kick control he's basically relying on this Kimura which is what I was talking about the other type of vertical grip that you can use for this weapon so he uses the Kimura for that gun kick control vertical recoil control and also the uh, rival vice assault grip that Shotzi also had so he's kind of more focused on having that ADS speed rather than the kick uh, trying to control the kick because he also uses the Bruin flash stock and that's more so for that ADS speed as well and it actually has the cons of the recoil control so he actually uses the 40 round mag so he doesn't have to 
to worry about his magazine capacity when he's actually shooting this weapon because of how fast it actually shoots. That fire reach is just so big. Like I said, similar to that Scorpion in Black Ops 2. So this is his class. It's really interesting to see the two different ways you can go about it. So he's actually focused on more on that ADS speed like subs usually do. And Shotzi is more on that gun kick control, making sure that he's actually trying to hit his shots accurately with this weapon. So those were the two main SMGs. A little bit of the WSP was used, but based on the later rounds, it seems like everyone was just gravitating towards these two if they were going to be using one of those SMGs. Cause again, it was really AR dominated throughout the entire tournament. Pretty much everyone was using the Holger MCW and they would just pull out one of these subs, you know, for a couple rounds here and there. So once again, there is some variability with these classes as everyone is still figuring out what the best and most optimal class is gonna be for that specific weapon. So bear with me as we continue as a community to try and figure out what is the most optimal setup. Uh, these are just all of your class setups that the pros were using yesterday. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.